Ever wonder how they put trains together? Of course you have. Welcome to the cavernous Siemens train factory. We're on 60 acres. We have about 600,000 square foot under roof. We put together complete train sets with locomotives, passenger coaches. The whole gamut is done right here in Sacramento, California. The process starts with piecing together the coaches using 50,000 spot welds. The roof, walls, and floor are combined into what's called the cathedral, because already the scale is enormous. Next door, technicians are assembling the bogey. That'd be the wheels and suspension. Now this part is usually below the platform level, so it's invisible to us as passengers. Then it's on to the paint shop. It's just like the paint shop for your car, only on a rather more significant scale. But this train isn't going anywhere without an engine. And this is it, 16 cylinders, 95 liters of displacement, up to 4,400 horsepower, all coupled up to an alternator at the end. The gorgeous Goliath is craned into a waiting truck. This diesel hybrid produces electricity to not only drive the motors for locomotion, but to provide power to the passenger cars. Speaking of, the cars themselves are coming together next door. They have around 16 miles of wiring, plus picture windows, high ceilings, and comfy seats. These beauties are destined for Brightline, a new privately funded service that will eventually connect Miami to Orlando. Brightline is the uh, country's first private sector inner city express passenger rail service that we're building to service the major metropolitan areas of the state of Florida. The Siemens factory can make four passenger coaches and four locomotives a month. So keep your eye out for the trains in seven states around the US.